Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. And today I'm going to show you how to make a clamshell arch or tunnel. So what this is, is actually a series of string of pearl arches. A string of pearls arch is that kind of arch where you have the, the helium balloons and it's like a single line of balloon. One balloon, another balloon, another balloon. So the first thing is to make your life easier, if you use marked line, and I don't know if you can see this, I'm gonna to try to bring it up to you so you can kind of see how, maybe against my hand, how there's little markings every so many inches. So you can either get this from your balloon distributor or if you go to fishing supplies, they have marked line. But the reason that it makes it easier is because with the marked line, you can just tie the balloon on the black dot and they'll be evenly spaced. If you're not gonna do it that way, then you wanna put them next to each other so that they just, we call it kiss, they just touch. We're gonna to let out a length of line like this, and then we're tethering it to a chair. Now, actually what we wanna do is we wanna flip the chairs around like this so that the weight, so that the pull of the helium is not going to topple them. Okay, and we're just gonna take it like this and pull it through and then tie just like that. And then, and then like a little lark's head knot, so we can just pull it and release it. Okay, and then we're just gonna bring this out. It's okay to leave a little bit of slack on it. Just like this. And we need to make the tunnel from here. I don't know exactly how many balloons it's gonna be, so we wanna you know, leave it on the spool so that we can figure that out. I'm guessing it's gonna be about maybe 25 balloons, that's, that's my estimate, but I don't know for sure. So now, the first thing that we're gonna do, we need to get our balloons. And we're doing this one in a slow pattern, that means that we're doing a, a, an entire arch of one color and then an arch of another color, an arch of one color and then an arch of another color. Now, if you're not good at sizing your balloons, then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna use you know, sizing equipment. What I do is I usually listen for it. So I count the seconds that I'm inflating and that should get me uh, consistently sized balloons. Now the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the middle. And the reason that I'm gonna do that is because if anybody happens to be walking through here, they need to know that there's a line here. We don't wanna decapitate them or cut, you know, <laughs> bisect them or something like that. Now, what I'm going to do is, you see, I, I have the balloon between my fingers like this, and I'm capturing the line in my other fingers. And then I'm wrapping the balloon around my fingers that with the line in between it and tying, just like that. You see, so that's how I tie it directly onto the line. So now that goes up. Obviously, you can see that this isn't gonna be enough. So we'll fill it up to here, and then we'll, and then we'll give it some more slack to, to get enough to do it. We'll just pull this out a little bit so I can bring it to my level. Okay, and now we just continue to fill the whole line with balloons. Usually start over here. So what do you do if one of your balloons is way too big, or maybe it's deflating, maybe it has a little hole, and you're like, uh-oh, what do I do? If I cut it, I might cut the cord. So come closer and let me show you what we do. What you wanna do is you want to make the, the line very tight, and then rub it quickly back and forth, and that will snap it off. Just like that. Okay, and then you can replace then you can replace the balloon that either went down or was too big or whatever. So that's what we're gonna do right there. Line on the chair, that's why we have it loosely tethered. 
and just let out some more line. And let's talk for just a second about how to figure out how many balloons you need. So with the 11 inch balloons, you can assume that each balloon takes approximately a foot. So there's some different arch formulas. You can just Google them, uh, arch formula, but basically the size of the arch depends on whether it's, you know, um, the length and the height is the same, whether the length and the width is, you know, whether it's taller than wider or whether it's wider than taller. So there's three different formulas to figure out how many feet your arch is gonna be and therefore how many balloons you need. Another little tip, as much as possible, try to have an odd number of balloons because that way the center point is a balloon and not the negative space between it. Now that we have the whole arch completed, what we need to do is we need to weight it. Now, I'm not entirely certain how much weight we're going to need, so what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the weights, and then I may need to add some weight to it. Also, for the next arch, to make it that cascading, that cascading clamshell effect, what we're going to need to do is we're going to go down in each subsequent arch by two balloons. Okay, so the first one's 27, then 25, then 23, then 21. These are only 65 grams and that's not gonna be enough. Okay, and I'm counting down one thing there. So that way I know that I'll have them evenly spaced as well. These are four ounce fishing weights. And so I'm gonna add a couple of these to it. That's good. Okay, so here we go. We still have to wrap the weights and make it all look pretty, but now you can kind of see, if you want to pan up a little bit, you can see the effect of the clamshell and the telescoping, and you can see on the bottom it's all even, but we reduced it by two for each arch, and that provides the, the telescoping effect. <clears throat> a couple other things that I want to point out. We have about a foot of space between each, uh, between each weight, so that gives, you know, they're not too crowded together, but it still makes it feel like, uh, like one kind of solid tunnel. Um, and then once we wrap it, it'll look all pretty and everything too. So there we go. That is how to make a clamshell arch. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please like this video. Please leave a comment. What else do you want to learn? This is another in the field video that you guys like so much. So I've been trying to make more of them. And also, of course, subscribe to the channel. Share the video with everyone you know and tell everyone else you know to subscribe. Also, be sure to check out my new series, Shape Up Sandy, uh, which is not balloons, but still I think you'll enjoy it. And until next time, go forth and balloonify.